Hi everyone, Joel from RC Max UK. Hope you're all very, very well. This video is about tyres, or more importantly, fifth scale tyres and how, with a big power setup, you actually keep them on the rims. If you watch this, if you've seen this clip, I'm not sure if you have, it's from a previous video of mine. This is Seb running in, believe it or not, his 48cc ALX engine. And this is a Dragon Hammer Volts, if you look at the right hand side of the picture, I suppose. Just spitting a foam out there, that's the 8S Dragon Hammer Volts with its quite puffy tyres. And this is my Losey 5.2, which you probably missed then, you didn't even see it, so I had to slow it down. Again, blowing out of foam, there it goes. And even slower, you get to see it, maybe that front left as it lifts, out it comes. And that's just a little bit of exuberance really, nothing crazy. With uh, my ALX 50cc, at the time I had cable tyres, silverback bead locks, and it just blew the cable tyres apart and blew the foam out. So, what can you do with the big balls? Big balls are getting more and more popular, I think. Uh, this is Aaron Bebop's 85cc ALX Losi 5C hybrid, or I suppose it's an outlaw hybrid kit. Again, videos on my channel if you want to have a look at it. 85cc, and this is a 71cc, it's John's Losi 5T. And these cars are both using BRP tyres. Now BRPs, if you know nothing about them, you get a little shot there. They look very small in this case because they're a little bit smaller circumference than a standard Losi 5T tyre. Although Aaron Bebop there is running the 190s, which are a new version, which are bigger, similar to, I think in fact the same as a standard diameter Losi 5T wheel and tyre. They are completely different, they're moulded, there's no foam, there's no beadlock. The wheel is moulded to the foam, or is a foam, and then the tyre or the tread is moulded to that. And then you've got these. These are MCD Astromax, so these are, I suppose, a enlarged version of an ape scale idea. Ape scale buggy tyre, the usual tyre foam, and it's glued to the rim. The advantage of these is they're very light, they seem to be pretty strong, no beadlock to worry about and on the smaller bore cars the 32 cc and so on 29s these seem to hold up really well and they don't blow off but on the bigger bore cars we're not yet sure so i'm going to be trying these out with my alx 50 cc low c which i'm currently rebuilding and swapping a, a, to the rc max chassis which i will show you in the coming days hopefully I'll be testing these out, that's my plan. Do these survive? Are these an option for Big Boar? And then also, Mike from RC Max. I mean, I know my channel's called RC Max UK, but I'm not RC Max. People sometimes get me confused with RC Max, but Mike from RC Max, who I know, uh, I asked if he could help me out and lend me a set of BRPs so I could have a look at them and maybe try them out. And he's done that. So these are a set of his BRPs, his personal ones, which are the smaller size ones, but I'm going to give them a try on my low C four wheel drive to see how they go. And you can see the kind of different bits here, wheel, the foam, which is glued to the wheel. And then the tread is like a separate layer, or it looks a separate layer to me around the outside, which is again glued, I suppose, to the, the foam itself. The spikes are the, seem to be the tire that has the best grip in the UK sort of conditions on, on muddy grass. There are a couple of other different styles that you can get. There are mini pins, which are a very small pin, close, close knit pin, which are pretty good for tight ground and maybe harder mud. And then there's the knobbies, which are, I'm not exactly sure what, which uh, terrain they're best on, but a lot of people use cold cutter screws in them. They screw in the cold cutters and then they're really good for, for grip on most kind of loose ish surfaces because they got screws screwed into them. And then of course you've got the slick tyres, the BRP slicks, which of course are for tarmac, I guess. Or, uh, you know, I've not seen anyone use them on anything other than tarmac, but you can get various sizes of BRP slicks, which look amazing and uh, I'd imagine give great grip on tarmac. The, the BRPs, you need a different hub, which you can see here is a hub that's held on with a pin, the kind of standard way, and four bolts. So you need the hubs to run these wheels as well. You can't run them on a standard hub. And that's, a, that's the just comparison of the size. That is a Mad Max giant grip 
tyre, which are very popular really in the, here in the UK. Again, maybe similar to something like a Hostile MX. And uh, you can see that there's quite a difference in size, definitely height of sidewall. And obviously the BRPs are wider. So, so they're a smaller tyre and wider, but there are the 190 size BRPs now, which are basically the same size as that giant grip. And the other option is what quite a few people are trying. I'm trying it myself and I'm still in the the final stages now of testing this out. I've had a couple of hiccups and that's basically using better bead locks or decent bead locks, gluing the tire, using drywall tape to try and reinforce the foam and the tire itself and using wood screws or much screws with a much bigger bite and a bigger head to, to force those bead locks really tight together. So it's glue, drywall tape, which is basically plasterboard tape and screws. This is a, a tire that I tried to do that with and I used a product called Sticks Like Shit actually, which is like a silicon, a really sticky silicon and it's meant to be sticky. And uh, I also used the product that seems to have worked a lot better, which is Gorilla Glue. Now, Gorilla Glue basically kind of acts a bit like expanding foam, but on a much slower scale, a much lower scale. So you, you use the glue, and then as it dries, it seems to expand and get very, very hard. It's very sticky, and that glue seems to have worked. So the, the tyre that's blown apart there, not the tyre that you're currently seeing, but the tyre that's opened up is one that I used the sticks like shit with, and it, it did stick like shit initially, especially to my hands, but that tire blew up big time. I was using the car and just getting a bit excited again, running it a bit harder, and I blew the tire and it went with a real bang. So, and the foam is absolutely destroyed. Although I did use the, the that setup at Bashfest and I lasted, I think three or four short runs on the oval uh, because I snapped ball ends off three different drive shafts on three different runs. So so I didn't run for long. But anyway, th this is the Gorilla Glue. So a little close up of the glue. That's the stuff I used. And this is the stuff that seems to work. That's the drywall tape. And those are the screws. So I used a slightly shorter screw on the inside and a slightly longer screw on the outside beadlock. And the beadlocks I used are silverback beadlocks, which so far are the best the v i think they're the v2 or the v3 i'm not sure they're kind of the best beadlock i think that i've come across anyway they're solid they seem pretty strong and yeah so i, I went i stuck with them although the inner beadlock i gotta say still a bit crap the outer beadlock seems good the inner beadlock for some reason is still i don't know it somehow could be better maybe but they're they're, they're better than others that i've used so this is the tire, the wheel to show you what it looks like after the glue <laughs> that I used. And that's the the remaining drywall tape, foam, and the remnants of that sticks like shit stuff, which which worked for a while but didn't work for long. So I wouldn't recommend you doing that at all. It was a bit of an experiment. It's made a mi right mess, to be fair. I had to peel all that off and it took me ages. So you know, many, I guess I could quite easily have thrown that tire away and just got some new tires, but I decided to resurrect that tire. So I peeled all that crap off, put in a new foam and I used the Gorilla Glue on this, on this tire. So I've now got two tires that, that I've got sticks like shit in and I got two tires with Gorilla Glue. So this is just a quick to show you what I did. Basically a load of Gorilla Glue on the inside of the tire and then I stuck drywall tape to that. Then I shoved the foam in. So that's just showing you the glue on the inside of the wheel. I then slid that into the tire, onto the foam, pushed it in there, tried to get all the glue in there. And then I put glue basically round both side walls of the tire itself. Uh, so the, so the sidewall of the tyre is glued to the foam. And then I put a bead of glue, Gorilla Glue, round the inside of the bead lock on both sides and screwed it down with the screws. And that's basically it. That is the process. 
And what you do notice is when the glue dries up, it does kind of expand out and you might have some mess to clear up. Uh, but it kind of makes the wheel feel, the tyre feel very solid. I guess it, it kind of pushes against the, the inside, the actual tyre itself. So it makes it feel very solid. And I honestly can't see it ungluing with this Gorilla Glue on it. I could be totally wrong. And when I when I next get my car out, my 50 out, I'll be testing, as I say, the glued tyres, the MCD Astro Max, and then the BRPs. Everyone is basically saying that knows anything about big bores that you got to go BRPs. Because if you don't go BRPs, you're basically going to blow tyres. So in essence, that seems to be the answer. What's holding me back from BRPs, to be honest, is one, the look of them. I'm not a massive fan of the look of them, to be to be honest. I prefer the look of a standard wheel with the bead lock. Then my second favourite is the MCD look. And then it's the then it's the um the BRPs. But the other thing that's putting me off, quite simply and honestly, is the price. I mean that you're looking at four hundred pounds for the one ninety size BRPs with the hubs. And that's a lot of money to me, four hundred pounds. But in the grand scheme of things, obviously, if you're going to keep blowing tyres up and the BRPs work, then I can totally see why people go BRP. And everyone that seems to know anything and has a lot of experience gets BRPs and basically says, BRPs are the way. End of story. So I'm going to, I'm going to find out for myself because I like experimenting and finding out and making my own choices. But... That's what I'm hearing. So stay tuned over the next coming weeks. I've got some videos coming up, hopefully to reveal the work I've done on my ALX50 with an RC Max chassis, some bonehead towers, some area RC bulkheads, and so on. And I'm planning this year to run that 50 as much as I can, because I haven't run it enough, to be honest. It's barely running at the moment. So that's my plan, to run that. And I'll let you know what goes on with these tyres and give you some videos hopefully showing you a bit of testing and, and what happens. So that's the plan. Plus, of course, lots of other videos. There's some mad builds going on in the groups that I'm in. 85cc ALX engines uh, seem to be, I don't know, the new big power engine. And RC Max, I'm hearing, are coming out with some new stuff, some new exciting engines I believe and I don't know just just new things from RC Max and although I have an ALX engine I and I, um, I love that engine I would like to try an RC Max why not so maybe that'll come this year so anyway guys take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one